Hey everyone, welcome back to GL Spinners. Today I'm bringing you another review video. We are taking a look at what was my first metal spinner, the Appsung or U13 fidget spinner. This spinner is pretty much available everywhere. Um, I purchased mine off Amazon, but it's available on a lot of other sites. Um, I originally paid $30 for this copper version, but now they're actually listed for under $20. They also have a different finish, and now they've also even got an aluminum version, which I think is even cheaper. So as I said, it is a pretty common Chinese design. Not really a clone, as no one really designed it, but just different. You can see it came in a box, not a tin. Um, it's got that U13 insignia and then made in China on it. And I was pretty surprised when I opened it up because they actually had foam inside of it, which was something I didn't expect since it wasn't a tin. But let's take a look at the spinner itself. It's a tri-arm design. It is rather large, weighs in at 80 grams or 2.8 ounces. It's a hair over two and a quarter inches on the outside diameter. It's got a rose gold finish with brass buttons, but you can see it still has a pretty smooth spin. With it being one of my first metal spinners, it's actually still one of my longest spinners. In my spin test video, this got a six and a half minute table spin, which is not too shabby. So what makes this spinner different? The buttons are brass, like I said, they're concave, pretty deep, standard. Um, they're threaded and then they reveal a 606 bearing. It's a hybrid ceramic bearing, which is why the balls are black. And it's also cageless and that allows those balls to rotate freely as it spins. A lot of bearings now, really the majority of them, have a cage that spread the balls out evenly inside the bearing. And really I don't see an advantage to cageless, but there are some disadvantages. It does make it louder. It also makes it susceptible to falling out. If you drop it, outside of the spinner itself, there's a good chance that the balls will pop out. I've seen it plenty of times on the internet. You can look it up. It does have our standard threaded bearing lock, which makes for ease of removal and also maintenance. But like I said, be careful when cleaning it. I would prefer if this had an R188 bearing as that's kind of become the standard now for most spinners. And even if it was a 608, I would prefer that as well because you could actually use an adapter to convert it to 6 or R188 using like a Kong or a Neo spin. With this 606, it's kind of an odd size and limits that. But like I said, it still gets pretty good spins. Um, in hand, it fidgets well. You can see here the edges are rounded quite nicely, no hot spots. It is rather thin, but it also has some wobble. Um, you really notice that when you actually spin it vertically and it's also louder when you spin it vertically as you can actually hear the balls falling and hitting each other. But when you move it to horizontal, you can see it is very smooth and it is noticeably quieter. So with this, you can see the cutouts around the center give it a different design. Also, it's got these machined arches on the outside, which gives it kind of a concentric circle. So a little bit different. Um, and like I said, again, this one is super thin. Um, to be honest, it's not a bad spinner. If you're looking for a good metal spinner for a very reasonable price, it's definitely an option. And if all you've ever owned is plastic spinners, it's a good entry into the metal spinners. Also, because you can get it off Amazon, you can get it in two days if you've got Prime. So you can see here, comparing it to some other similar shape and size spinners, Zentry on the right, Spinetic Y Copper on the left, you can see that copper is a little bit different from that rose gold finish on the U13. But as always, let me know what you think. If you've got one, do you like it? Do you have any other questions about it? Put them down in the comments below. If you like the video, make sure and give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more spinner reviews and content, make sure you subscribe. I'm putting out videos all the time, so have a good one. Thanks.